guys, it's T here from Teeny Daily and T's Dream Designs, and it's time for another DIY. <laughs> Today we're going to be making some candy cane wreaths. So I want two to go up on my wall, but I don't want them to be matching. I just want them to flow together. So for this first one, we're going to make the main portion of it black. Still sticking with my main colors for this year for Christmas, you guys. We're gonna leave this edge piece out for right now. We're gonna go ahead and start wrapping it. As you're wrapping it, bring it nice and tight. Pull, pull so it's nice and tight around it. And I wanna try to overlap it as much as possible because I want it to be pretty dark. I want it to be nice and black. Right here, I'm just going to fold it inwards like this, and then tuck it. And then glue it down. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, you guys. And then start this one. We're gonna do the same exact thing, but with white. cool you guys so it kind of creates a little bit of an ombre moment but also just giving us something cool down here and I'm gonna cut off these extra little fringes before we add on the next layer all right so check it out this is what they should look like right now back to the white one I have this glittery white ribbon from the tall tree y'all know it so now we're gonna go around and Put it around the candy cane, but I don't want it right next to each other. So this is where we want to start creating space and gaps for the other decorations that are going to go on the candy cane. Look at how freaking good that looks. Oh, so scrumptious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to put some silver on this one and start adding some more depth to this one, even though it's so beautiful, so party. But just like, you know, you have the cool white and black going on here, mainly black, and we're going to add way more black too. Let's add some silver to this one. And again, since you already saw the da -da -da method, we're going to use some editing skills. Ready? Oh. loving it. Now it's time to add our fuzzy faux fur, you guys. I love it. Okay, so we are going to adhere it using the flat side, not the fuzzy side, and we're going to put it in the middle there. In the middle on any white part of the candy cane. Do some right here. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it around. I'm actually gonna add some glue right here as well. So I know it's gonna stay right on the edge of the candy cane. Like that. So we're gonna go ahead and start wrapping it around. And I am gonna actually glue it in place. Just a little bit, cause you don't, you know, you wanna make sure it stays Especially when you have a flat side, you don't want the flat side to show up. So I'm just tugging and then pushing down. Oh, that looks 
looks so pretty. Look at that. Yeah. Bam, you guys. Look at that. It's perfect. It is perfect. It's so fuzzy. I just want to go, ooh, you, you. <laughs> All right, we're going to put that one to the side for now. Do, do, do. And bring back the black one. And we're going to do very a very, very, very similar method. Hold on. With, you guessed it, this faux fur. Look at how pretty this is. It's going to look so beautiful. And we're going to do, we're going to start by lining. We're going to line both edges going all the way around the candy cane. Wow. Doing black first, we're gonna go in with some black pearls. Yeah, 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 buddy. And I think we're gonna double up in between the ribbon. So not where the ribbon is, but in between the ribbons. All right, you guys, I'm freaking loving the way these are coming out. It is time to make some bows. This is gonna be the main big part for our black bow. So let's go ahead and take the tag off. All right, I'm gonna do about three inches of a loop right there. The same amount on this side and fold it into the center. Like that, right? gorgeous beautiful now we're gonna take another layer but this time I have tiny fingers so you might need to add two fingers but we're gonna take one finger and then fold it over again like that you see that there it's gonna ensure that it's a little bit bigger than your last loop and the same for this side one finger and then fold it over to the center. Now this would be easier if you had one of those ribbon uh, contraptions. And I think I might buy one on Amazon soon here. <laughs> yeah. Do it again, same method. Put one finger here, fold it right at the, at the finger, and take it to the center. Perfecto. And we're gonna do this about three more times. Once you have that finished, you're gonna go ahead and cut it right in the center. Ta-da! Oh no! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's all right, it's all right. Ta-da! All right, you're gonna grab a pipe cleaner. You're going to pinch right in the center Put your pipe cleaner in the middle, and then you're going to twist it around really tight so that your bow doesn't move. Because you don't want to put all that work into it, and then it goes bye-bye. <laughs> That's good. And then we're not going to cut off this because we're going to use that to put it around the candy cane. Alrighty. Now what we want to do is fluff up our bow. I wanted to show you guys was that... As you can see, this side of the bow is not as pretty. It's the, you know, it's the, it's the tag, if you will. So you just want to flip it. That's what I do. You can always cut it if you want, but like, just flip it. There's no need to do all that work. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then we are just going to fluff out the rest of the bow. Look, let me show you. I joke, I kid, we are gonna make legs. So we want it to be about, about that long, about an arm's length. Once you fold it in half, you wanna make sure you like the length. I think that's a good length for this type of bow. So let's go ahead and cut it right there. Perfect. So you fold it in half after we cut it. Now you're gonna take the ends, fold them together like that, 
and then I'm going to cut away from me at a diagonal. So make sure they're nice and straight. And then cut away from you and then look, you have the point inside. Now take the legs, open it up right where we folded it in half and then take the pipe cleaner and pinch it and then go ahead and twist this right where you folded it in half so it doesn't go anywhere. And then your bow, dun dun dun, should look like this, yeah. And like I said, we'll finish fluffing it up after we attach it to the candy cane. Put it about right here, quarter up, flip it over. And then we're going to use the pipe cleaner to attach it and also some hot glue because the pipe cleaner is not super long, you know what I mean? So you might be running out of space at this point with the pipe cleaner. Go ahead and twist and then just tuck it underneath the ribbon or one of your decorations or like that. All right, now using this ribbon that I got from Walmart, look at how beautiful it is. We're gonna do the same thing, but making it a smaller version. And then it's gonna go on top of this black one. Alrighty, we're almost finished, but I want to put the final touches on with these beautiful rhinestone looking things. Look at that. So they're actually crystal tacks, but it works out because we put so much tool and mesh underneath there, we can just stick it in there. So I got this hundred piece one from Amazon and we are also going to hot glue them just to make sure they stay. So what I want to do is take them on the black ribbon on this one. And we're going to start with the center. And I want to put it right in the center. Like that. Yes, when I like it. Then I'm going to take some hot glue. I'm going to put...